Bad Batch star teases tantalizing setup for spin-off Star Wars TV show. Star Wars, The Bad Batch star D. Bradley Baker discusses the lingering storylines from the animated series. Other than Omega who is voiced by Michelle Ang Baker voiced all the members of the titular Bad Batch along with all the other male clones who appeared throughout the show's three seasons reprising many of the characters he voiced in the Clone Wars along with several new additions to Star Wars canon. The Bad Batch concluded after three seasons on Disney Plus but not all the clones endings were fully addressed. While speaking with The Hollywood Reporter Baker mentioned some of the tantalizing clone storylines that could still be further explored. He highlights specific characters whose stories he feels are not yet complete especially when considering developments with these characters in the Clone Wars The Bad Batch and Star Wars Rebels. He emphasizes the curiosity that he and many viewers have in regard to the unanswered questions about these characters. Check out Baker's comments below. Well it's tantalizing isn't it? Because a number of the clones are still in play including Echo and his is a really remarkable story. He's had a uniquely challenging story to overcome with how he's been put through the ringer when he was captured and then kind of reassembled as part machine. And yet he comes out of this with this attitude of let's get back in there and let's make things better and people really love that. So I'm encouraged that these threads are still open for storytelling. Like what happens to clone commander Cody? Where does Echo go? How do clones Rex and Wolfa and Gregor end up getting together and then eventually end up in a fishing spaceship on a remote planet at some point? How do these things happen? Everybody wants to know because they love these clones. In addition to the clones Baker mentioned there is also the mystery of what happens to Hauser who is already part of Rex's clone network and Emery Kara Disney Star Wars character who needs to be seen again and who joins Echo and Rex's network as well. The answer to telling these lingering clone stories may not be through another full-fledged series akin to the Bad Batch but instead through following the template of the Tales of the Jedi and Tales of the Empire anthology shows. A character like Morgan Elsbeth didn't need an entire series dedicated to her with three short episodes in Tales of the Empire being the perfect way to fill in the gaps in her story after The Mandalorian Season 2 and Ahsoka. A Tales of the Clone series following the structure of its predecessors six short episodes each with three episodes focused on a single character or group of characters could be the answer. One of the three episode arcs could finally reveal how Rex Wolfa and Gregor end up on Celos and why Wolfa becomes particularly paranoid. Another one of the arcs could focus more on Echo and the bond he was forming with Emery. Cody Hauser and other clones could be incorporated as well as could Omega and her adventures after she leaves Pavu and joins the Rebellion. The Bad Batch ending brought a satisfying conclusion for Omega Hunter Crosshair and Wrecker but there are still more clone stories left to tell and tales of the clones may be the best way to tell them in the animation style of the Clone Wars and the Bad Batch. The Bad Batch is streaming on Disney Plus. Source, The Hollywood Reporter. Star Wars, The Bad Batch is an action-adventure animated series set after the events of the Clone Wars following Clone Force 99, aka The Bad Batch. Finding themselves immune to the brainwashing effects of Order 66 The Bad Batch become mercenaries for hire while outrunning the Empire now seeing them as fugitives of the law. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. Yellow Jacket's continued success and gripping premise make it the perfect replacement series for Netflix's cancelled mystery show from 2019. The Witcher season 4 will see series first romance with which it's fixing the show's biggest mistake but is at risk of creating a bigger one. Although it's been a controversial concept one change to Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith would have made Pat Mies' story so much better. One Star Wars, the Acolyte interview slip-up referenced Anakin Skywalker destroying the Death Star but what if it really had been him? Multiple sequels prequels and reboots later the Terminator franchise needs a fresh start, and this upcoming Netflix anime series is how to do it. The recent news of Bill Skarsgård's return as Pennywise in Welcome to Derry is avoids two major problems with the new It franchise television series. The Umbrella Academy Season 4 teaser trailer showed the Hargreaves' newest time travel transport which solves a huge comic book problem. 
we want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts.